Welcome to DIY Explorer 5 Minute Reviews. This time we're going to do an unboxing and quick first impression of the Bauer Planer. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Unboxing was easy and simple and took less than 10 minutes to do. Now be careful when you pull it out of the box. Don't do what I just did right there. Use the handles on the side, otherwise you may bend the rollers at the very top. This 64 pound 15 amp beast cuts 12 and a half inch wide boards up to six inches in thickness. Make sure you take out all the accessor the packing Otherwise, you'll have a mess. The Bauer Planer does have dust collection. There'll be more on that later in this video. Also included is an Allen wrench and magnetic bit release tools. I have not used those yet. That'll be for a future video when I actually change the blades. It has a safety switch, which is very handy if you have children around. Pop that right off, does not work. Pop it back in, you're ready to go. As noted before, there are the rollers on the top. It's much easier when you got two people, but just as easy with one. One of the features lacking from the Bauer Planer is a gauge at the front of it that when you insert your pieces of wood it will actually tell you the height of the wood and then you can set your blades. It did not have that and I kind of wish it did. The first wood I use on this planer were scrap wood from my dumpster diving video, the very first video. Now one of the things that I didn't know it when I started using it is that you can actually adjust the height in between cuts without actually turning it on and off. This machine is intimidating when you start, but once you get using it and more comfortable with it, it comes really naturally and it's fairly easy to use. This 12 inch wide board is handled quite easily by the Bauer planer. It is an old piece of scrap wood so it was throwing off a lot of shavings. And there is the clog. So as I noted before it does have dust collection but the attachment in the back is sloped on one end where that arrow is and tends to clog if you're putting heavy wood or not the driest wood through. Side note, if you're wondering why I'm wearing a Union Carpenters hoodie, I ended up in computers where the rest of my family were actual real carpenters. I'm just picking up a little late in life. One thing to note about using scrap wood, make sure there's no metal objects like staples or nails in it. If you do put it through the planer and it nicks the blade, it will actually no longer cut smooth, so you're going to have to flip them out. Good thing about the Bauer planer is that it's double-sided blades, that you can just flip it around and you're good to go again. It's quite a loud little machine there. I would highly recommend hearing protection. So as you see, I'm actually planing some wood that I had glued together for a butcher block top desk. It handled the wood and glue awesome. It only bogged down a little bit and I might have taken a little bit too much at a time. So is the Bauer 12 and a half inch planer better than any of the others? In the same category like Craftsman and Ryobi, I would say it's fairly comparable. Uh, the feature set is about the same. Now, other brands like semi-professional and professional that are significantly more expensive 
for those extra features for somebody like me, I don't think it would be worth that extra cost. So leave a comment if you have a question. I'm happy to answer as many of them as I can. And thanks for watching.